let's head into Southside Seattle, friends, because we got 15 things to do to eat and ideas of where to stay. And puppies are optional in this week's video. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. Let's start where I normally start, which is let's have a drink. It's five o'clock somewhere. Let's go get a drink. Oh, have you ever tried mead before? It's actually pretty tasty. Come check it out. That's good to know. We don't If you don't know what mead is, it's actually made out of honey. So it definitely has a different flavor profile than normal wine. But when you come here, you can do a tasting. They do have a wine tasting, but their mead tasting consists of eight different kinds of mead and they're all so different from each other. And it's really fun to sit in the tasting room. Amanda and Cosmo have done a lot to really decorate the space and make it really, really fun to hang out in the tasting room and we're having a good time. My part of this comes from is a red wine grape mead with coffee. Oh, it has the dark. Wait a minute here. We can't just jump straight to dessert, or can we? First, we gotta talk about where we're at. This dinner is awesome, but first we gotta check it. Welcome to the lodge, the Cedar Brook Lodge. This is nice, I'm excited. I'm dying to know what's in this bag, but we just checked in and I'm excited to spend a few nights here. It's been really comfy so far and the staff has been really, ooh, the staff's been really nice. Oh, that's so nice. Lavender lemonade. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right in here. What else is in here? Oh. Mm -hmm. Body scrub. You trying to tell me something? What do you think? This is a table. Yes! Ah. This is a look at all the cameras that I are out. That We're all so excited. Before. So we eat at this. Barbecue table cuisine. We're just very happy to give us a opportunity to Thank you. Thank you. This one might kill me, but I'm totally gonna eat it anyway. Level of excitement. Hi. <laughs> Let's just say I was very, very impressed. And after this, chocolate. It's not wine time, it's chocolate time. Let's go in and have something sweet. This is gonna be me very soon. <laughs> This is where the magic happens! Anything can happen. And behind these doors is the chocolate factory. And where I'm at right now is Seattle Chocolates. And we've been doing this really awesome tasting. We get to learn all about how they create chocolate here. Oh, we have eaten so much chocolate today. It was a little rough after this morning's breakfast, but I I believed in myself, I believe in you. You can eat all the chocolate in the world. It's a double chocolate trail mix. So you have milk chocolate inside, dark no. chocolate. But it's been an amazing time getting a tour, learning about their chocolate. They ship out millions of chocolate bars and millions of truffles every year. And you wanna hear a fun fact? If it doesn't pass the chocolate test, in other words, it's not the perfect shape and size, et cetera, they actually discount the chocolate and they sell it 
every now and again outside of their store where you can buy discounted chocolate. But we went through the whole tasting and in the tasting there's, there's a few steps that their owners put together in how you taste the chocolate. So everything from breaking the chocolate to the way you smell the chocolate to pinching off your nose so you can just focus on the flavor. It's really fun because they make so many different kinds of really amazing flavors. I think my favorite was the chocolate malt. That's actually pretty tasty. This is my girl right here. Make sure you visit her. Visit her. Her. Right <laughs> You're like, okay, Christine. I bought some. <laughs> I don't anticipate to burn too many of those calories off, but let's go for a nice walk outside because I'm actually super excited about this one because I love being outside and it's a beautiful day and the botanical garden actually looks like it might be pretty good. So let's go check it out. This is definitely my favorite part of the garden. Beautiful. Oh, it's nice. I wonder if there are any fish in the pond. A smaller garden, but definitely worth a visit. And not only that, it's free! So come, enjoy the outdoors. Come, like, like the volunteer said, when the roses are in bloom and enjoy yourself. And if you like the outdoors, you don't want to miss this one because a 40 minute ride away ish is Snoqualmie Falls where you can hike or you can just park and enjoy the views of the waterfall. And you can kind of come anytime because not only is it open year round, but if it's raining, you can still go inside Salish Lodge and have a drink and enjoy the view. There's a full video on this link in the description below, but a really great option. This is how excited we are to eat lunch right now. You've got to check out this spot because there's a really interesting story behind it. Check it out. It's like, why? Why? I'm eating. I'm eating. Why do you put the camera on my face? <laughs> so Spice Bridge is a nonprofit business, and they're trying to create a space to help South King County women of color, immigrants, and refugees to launch and grow thriving food businesses. So it's neat because it's rotating, and you can see with all of these different owners, the people who rotate through here before they go out to the community really cool because it's helping aspiring entrepreneurs to basically get a kickstart on what they're trying to do and we all get to try the food that they are creating and so today's lineup has everything from Ethiopian food to food from Afghanistan to Cambodian food and <sighs> hungry yeah thank you that was delicious So I got the veggie version. So I'm having dumplings with leek filling. So it has spices, leeks, and garlic yogurt on top. Tomato base with lentils. Hi, how are you? Good. Great, thank you. What I love about this museum is they have all different kinds of exhibits. It's not just one. Whether you're looking for information about the area or history or even local art from the kids, there's a whole lot for everyone. Helpful to know is that entry is $8 and you can get a tour, which I do not think you should miss out on, but those are by appointment only. So make sure you sign up in advance and come check it out. So I'm so excited for this next part. Where are we going? Aviation Museum. Helpful to know, admission is $25 for adults. Gives you access to everything. This museum is huge. You can spend a lot of time here. It's highly interactive, very, very interesting. And my favorite part, y'all know me, I love drones. So looking at the drone portion of it, a different kind of drones, was my favorite part. 
But if you're interested in getting fly in a different kind of way that's very exhilarating, do not miss iFly. Separate video on that, link in the description below. But it's, it's a good one. You wanna know what time it is? Drinking time! I've got three, actually four, options for you to get your drink on. And the first one's starting here at Joey's because if there's a wait, they actually serve you champagne while you wait, but a really great spot for happy hour and some really tasty appetizers and salads. That's what we had while we were here. But I definitely love checking out this spot. Hold the phone. Before you leave this mall, you need to go to the second floor to Mochi Nut because these donuts are awesome and I definitely don't want you to think I'm on a diet, but they have really great options for really bad decisions. We ordered a box of six. I ate a box of six. Welcome to Interurban, whether you're staying here or maybe just having some duck fat fries for happy hour at Rendition. Come check it out. Those duck fat fries are a must, so make sure you order those. But there's something important to know about deciding on a place to stay in Seattle. So when I came in, I was thinking, should I stay right next to the airport or should I go all the way to Seattle proper where it's pretty expensive for a hotel? Or there's another area that's like a 10 to 15 ish minute ride away from the airport. And this is one of the really great options to stay at if you choose this location. A puppy, I have puppy drool on my camera, I love it. Did you see the good looking dog? Beautiful views and in a spot that you might not expect, dog friendly, and you notice Sparkling. they got sparkling. Actually, how far are we from the airport? Roughly five miles, but about maybe a 12 minute Uber ride. 12 minute Uber ride. Come get your pre drink on in this amazing view. Yeah, killer view. It doesn't get any better than this. Obviously very amazing views, but also a really cool story. This used to be a shipping container and there's a lot going on in this area with more farmers markets and nighttime markets to bring more business to this area because it, it's a great view. And so I really enjoyed drinking wine here with Ken. They also have really great coffee as well, but when you're ready to stop petting those dogs, take a stroll along the marina and head over to Anthony's. Welcome to Anthony's, a really great place for dinner, especially with a sunset. So make sure you get a window view. They have amazing fresh seafood. Obviously you got this view behind you, but check out what we ate tonight. Friends, we are just getting this party started because there are so many more adventures to be had in this area after you have stuffed your face some more. Join me in the next video in Bellevue. Such a good time there. If you had some fun with me here though, make sure you cheers that like button, consider subscribing and tell me in the comments below if you have a suggestion because I'm headed back here very soon. You'll be hearing more about it, but I will see you in that next video. Ciao.